about 15 years after I graduated from college, I found out that I was almost not accepted into the institution where I got my degree, that my acceptance was highly controversial, and that ultimately my success in the program would help to change the application process for future students. You see, I'm dyslexic, so if you grew up in the 80s, that basically meant you were slow, or as I always felt, dumb. Passing classes became so difficult for me that my parents came to celebrate a C. See, now most kids get ice cream for straight A's. I got ice cream for no D's. <laughs> when you really think you're dumb, you think you've been dealt a bad hand. And you'll always be the weird kid in the room. Have any of you ever felt like the weird kid in the room? In time, I came to learn that I'm a visual learner. Basically, what that means is I like picture books. Because you see, we have such a need for immediate gratification that if we don't see our mission happening in our way and in our time, we assume it's not happening. I got into Lawrence because I wanted to sing. And by being true to myself and what I knew was right in my gut, I was part of something that was so much larger than I ever could have imagined. So even if you think you are the weird kid in the room, don't be afraid to imagine big, because chances are you're already a part of something even bigger.